how should we be thinking about AI? Is AI a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it an opportunity? Is it a calamity? What is AI? Or is it both? Let me, let me pause and ask a question. Who here thinks AI is an opportunity? Beautiful, beautiful. And who here thinks it's a calamity? Beautiful again. It's both. It is both. It's not just an opportunity. So let's, let's not be all warm and fuzzy about AI. I want you to be, I mean, we sell AI, but I also want you, know, you to be cognizant that this is something that you have to take seriously and responsibly because it impacts your lives, our lives, the lives of our employees, customers, everyone. So to understand the role of AI, what it's going to do over the next few years, let's look back. Technology in general. What has technology done? It's accelerated change like nothing else. Companies, from the, I have a couple of data points here, Fortune 500 companies from the last 50 years, only 52 of them are around. 450, poof, gone, gone. In the next 20 years, this is going to accelerate. The 500 that we see on the top, I don't know, maybe 20 of them will be around. It feels too, it feels like it's, no, that's, that's not how it's gonna play out, but the fact is, it is. I, I was speaking to some of my friends and people were like, how could Google and Amazon, how could they ever get dislodged? Well, what happened with GPT, chat GPT? For the first time, people have seen a glimpse that Google could just go away. People are not gonna need search anymore. They'll just go and ask chat GPT and suddenly our mind starts opening up. That, that is how catastrophic it can be. But we'll talk about the opportunity as well on the other side. So you see over here, it's been one of the biggest productivity enhancements that has happened in the last 20, 30 years. You see here from 1990 when internet started to 2010, 20 years, productivity almost went up by four times. It used to take eight people to do a million dollars in revenue. This is S&P companies that you see here. Now, 2010, it was two and a half people to do a million dollars in revenue. The last 10 years, the change has been very small. Two and a half became two. You're barely keeping up with the rate of inflation, so not really a change. Now, AI is coming in. There's a very recent study, Generative AI, GPT, we're all hearing about it. Very recent study came out literally a week ago. It's, it's not even peer-reviewed, but MIT study, and I think it's indicative. They studied the impact of generative AI yeah, on productivity. What does the data say? People, they had two groups, control group, test group. People who used uh, AI, their productivity improved by almost 40%. 30 days became 17 days for the same task. What it was 30 hours became 17 hours you know, for the same task. Quality improved by 20% at the same time for the group using generative AI. And these were people who did not, had never used generative AI earlier. The other group, their productivity came down from 30 days to 28 days. You know, so slight improvement, but the quality also went down by around 10%. So that is the impact that AI, generative AI, and I think it's representative of all AI, it's having today. The second part of their study was they actually saw that it was reducing inequality. People who had more skills, less skills, they were actually closer together, those cohorts. So that's, those are the two sides of AI, you know, jobs, et cetera, we've been hearing, so we'll, we'll chat about that in a second. So it's both. So that's, that's the first thing I'll, I'll like all of us to keep in mind. It is both at the same time, we have to prepare with that in mind.
Thank you for watching this highlight video from the Sandler Summit. You can join us for the next Sandler Summit in 2024, March 19th and 20th at the Orlando World Center Marriott. Register now at sandler.com summit.